Hello everyone, just want to do a quick how to use the Rogue Armory Crate video and just give a little review on my thoughts on this app. So this comes with the Republica Gamers laptops. I have the Rogue Zephyrus M16 from 2022. And I just want to talk a little bit about this because I've been using it quite extensively and there's a lot of cool little features in this that I think some people just might ignore. So up at the top it's going to show your specs. So for my processor I got a 12th gen Intel Core i7 12700 and then the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU with GDDR6 at 6 gigabytes so that's my graphics card quite a beast there's better laptops out there and especially Republican gamers this is not their best laptop but geez I must say it does work quite well especially playing any game on ultra but in the Armory Crate, you can see your CPU usage, your GPU usage, what frequency it's at, uh, what your clocking is at. You can overclock it. I'm in performance mode down at the bottom, you can see there. You can change the silent mode, which does a great job of turning those loud fans off. There's also turbo mode, which you can get pretty intensive in there. But it also is going to show your memory and storage. So... Right now I'm using 49.7% of my RAM. I only have the 16 gigabytes RAM, didn't upgrade it yet, but this comes with an upgradable RAM, which is nice. And my storage, so that's kind of cool at a glance if you want to see this. If you do have in the smaller window, it does appear up at the top, but if you full screen it, it pops down there. One really cool thing is you can see the speed of your fans. So mine are sitting around 3K RPM for my CPU and GPU fans, and it'll tell you how loud it is. Um, when you're gaming it goes up to 60 <laughs> it gets quite loud to be honest but it keeps it cool and running nice you can change your gpu mode mode around ultimate standard eco mode optimized you can add games and launch them straight through here which is nice and quick and easy if you like to use this but i just like having them on the desktop myself you can change around your system configurations if you want to have the boot up noise the panel overdrive all these little things i actually like the boot up sound i don't know why i turned it off but there's a lot of little things you can mess around with there. Um, you can change the color of the keyboard if you have the uh, USA models or any of the ones that are not Canada. Because unfortunately Canada just gets the white keys. Don't know why, but <laughs> that's just the way it is. Um, you can also launch shared cam, which is really cool. It's through my Asus, but what it is is you can use your smartphone as a camera. I'm just using a Logitech C920, but it's really easy to just use your phone and to be honest a lot of big streamers and content creators out there just use their phone like penguin zero for example a very popular youtube content creator he uses his phone and it makes amazing videos so it's definitely possible you got your profile there and everything on here is pretty cool so that's just the information at a glance if you're just clicking on the home screen there but you can go into your device there and you can change some of the uh, performance around so this is going to show what's taking up uh, your gpu at the current time you can set up customizable hotkeys to change the four keys that comes with it. I just have mine set as a speaker down, volume up, microphone on, and launch the Armory Crate. You can mess around and change this to a variety of different things. You can even set up macros or all sorts of different options there if you're someone that wants the customization. You can change the lighting of your keys. There's not much that can be done on the <laughs> um, the non-RGB ones, but you can just set up static lights, breathing, or strobing. You can set up your audio, which the microphone on this is actually really good. I have it just set to omnidirectional, but it's cardioid is really nice because it can cut out all the sounds around your, your games and things like that. Uh, there's two-way noise. AI cancellation, which really does a great job. I should be showcasing that right now, but I'm not playing any games. Because if you're playing a game and it's coming through your speakers, this will reduce that background noise, which is really nice. Uh, then you check your resources, which is also pretty useful if you want to track things over time. You can record it as well. The Aora Sync can pair up with any device that you have that's going to set your lighting to. Um, you can also set your keyboard colors, but as I said, <laughs> mine don't have that. But... Uh, it's cool, like you can do a lot of different things with it. Um, bounce between different colors, all that. Getting into game visuals, you can change how your games look just through this options here. So if you're playing a racing game, you can change it to be more like high frames per second. For scenery, it's gonna make it more bright and colorful. Real-time strategy RPG games, it's gonna give you better sharpness. First-person shooters helps with the visibility in dark scenes, makes it easier to see people. Uh, cinema, eye care, and vivid. There's lots of great options there, and I, I think they do do a great job of changing the, the look of your 
This is only for your laptop's main screen, so that's why you don't see it changing on this screen. I'm using an external display to record this, but it'll change how your monitor looks on the laptop itself. And it's got a really nice screen, I must say, the one that I'm using. I think all rogue games do. Again, you can set up your gaming profile through there. Uh, select profiles to edit with. And yeah, if you want to set up scenarios, you can. But here's the, <laughs> the deals you can get. Starfield's coming out next week. And one of the nice things is if you buy a rogue gaming laptop, you get a free month of Game Pass for Xbox, which will get you Starfield as well. So if you're looking to play that game, want to save a couple doubloons, you can just buy a laptop. <laughs> it's not really saving any money buying a whole laptop just to get free games, but hey, you get a nice month of it. So that's how you use the Armory Crate, Republic of Gamers. It's very powerful and you can get a lot done. Lots of information just at a glance. If you want to see your fan speed, if you want to see your clock, you want to see what frequency you're working at. It's all right there in one easy to see spot. So that's my quick review and how to use the Armory Crate. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.